Eric Farms, we're back with another episode of UMRV, Upper Mississippi River Valley, and today we're going to be uh, doing just a little bit more, I guess you'd call it spring work. Uh, we've got our crops out here that need to be uh, fertilized that we planted last fall. If we take a quick look at the map here, we have this field seven, and this is running some uh, barley, I think. And we need to get the nitrogen level brought up to par here on field seven. We forgot all about that. And so we've got our trusty uh, R4045 here that we're going to go do that with. And we got a little bit of liquid fertilizer in there, but it's not quite a full tank. And that's a pretty big field. And so before we head out there and get started, I thought we'd pick up a little bit more fertilizer. I was about to send our nurse trailer up to the bulk fill point to pick some more up, and then I remembered we had a bunch sitting in the tanks on the planters, so I've emptied out both planters. We've got those crates sitting here. We're gonna go ahead and see if I can find the fill point. It's probably, uh, no, it's right there on this side. Why am I not uh, filling? Hang on, let's well, back up here. Maybe I'm just not close enough. So we'll just not necessarily top this off. I don't think there's enough here to do that, but we'll fill what we can. Oh, look at that. We are going to fill up. Well, that's handy. Uh, we'll uh, head on out to this field now with the sprayer, and we're going to get that set up. I have both of my uh, slurry spreaders going here. Uh, in fact, if I just drive forward a little bit here, you can see we've got uh, the original spreader going on the field over here we're putting down our digestate and then i have been running the quad track on the other small fields around the farm we already took care of the small grass field up there in the corner and the small field on the other side of the house we did those off camera and right now i believe the 9rx is out behind the farm here right there he just went around the corner by the bin there so let me go ahead and run this sprayer out to the field here and we'll get started on spreading some fertilizer. I have to say I love that this sprayer has such a high road speed. It makes it a lot easier to get around on the farm here. Don't feel like I'm spending an enormous amount of time driving around the map. Uh, I might feel differently as we need to go down to the far end of the map for some spraying a little bit later here, but at least for the time being, uh, this is a handy speed to get around. And if we look here, our barley's up nice and thick. This is the perfect time to get out here and start spraying. I don't think we're going to have to worry about weeds in this particular field at all. Uh, number of headlands with this big thing, I think one was actually enough. Uh, because we've got such a wide working width. So I'm going to try that and we'll see how it goes. Uh, if we jump in here, I can just get started on this part. Go. We've got automatic application rate. Height looks pretty good on the sprayer. I think we're good to go. We'll see. Oh, we can see that we're just putting down the smallest amount in some of these areas. We're not that far off from a nitrogen perspective. In fact, if I hop out here, you can see our nitrogen level is uh, somewhere around 100 out of 120 needed. So we were already good, uh, but not quite perfect, which is where we're getting now. So let's go ahead. We'll jump back in here and we're gonna tackle some acres real quick. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on these two manure spreaders. I think we're running pretty good now. Everything seems to be going smoothly with them. Uh, they've gone through the BGA a few times now. We're not quite at a point where we've got enough slurry to keep up with them. Oh, we're getting there. We moved the time forward a bit here. So we've already got 20,000 gallons of digestate and we're keeping the slurry tank full. Uh, from those on the farm. Our other one is still selling and almost empty here so we can sell the old building. I think that'll uh, be good. And we've almost worked our way through our hay silage situation. We're uh, getting plenty of TMR. All of our animals are now fully fed. So really, I'm ready to start moving the clock forward here into uh, the coming months as soon as we get this field sprayed, uh, which is why we decided to jump into this right out of the gate today. 
now that we're on the back side of this field we are using up quite a bit more fertilizer uh, back here it looks like the soil's a little thirstier in this corner we've got a lot more uh, orange on our nitrogen map down there than i had anticipated we're putting on it looks like about 18 gallons an acre of uh, spray at the moment which seems pretty high uh, 105 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare though at spots which is a uh, lot to get through um, we're almost one time around the headlands here and we're at about 84 percent looks like we're going to spend about 20 percent getting around the headlands we are going to need some more fertilizer i think uh, but we do have a little bit left back on the farm not a lot i can't imagine in that tank but I will uh, probably jump over to the farm and we'll bring that out here on the back of the pickup just so that uh, we can top this thing off and before we run up and buy some more. Uh, we may just buy a crate rather than uh, fill that nurse tank up. And I see AI worker Andy has stopped working, which is not a problem. He should pick up the auto drive tank and go refill himself. So let's go check in on that. Oh, here he is, but we forgot to click the little uh, course play thing. So let me try this. I've got the course play thing enabled now and we're still on the course. I'm gonna go ahead and try and resume. He's gonna unfold and realize that he doesn't have anything in the tank. He's gonna give me the air and then he's gonna go do the auto drive course. So this is the part I always forget is you gotta click the little box if you want it to interact with course play and pick up the auto drive course and go figure out where to go. So uh, we're doing that now. If I click here, you can see we go to this farm hayfield point, get on our auto drive network and he's gonna just drive on over to the BGA and top himself off. Should work out really nicely. Uh, I don't think I showed this working on camera last episode, even though we technically set this all up uh, in the episode. So let's see how this goes. Now, we've never actually come over at it from this angle, so I'm kind of curious to see what he does here. That's going to be a really tight turn to get back in alongside the BGA. We've always come in through this driveway in the previous attempts. So now I'm just wondering if the trailer's going to get close enough to the fill point to count as being inside of it. This is uh, this is going to be telling. Uh, it looks like no. All right. Well, that's uh, something to work on here, I suppose. Uh, what I can do is bring this course a little bit closer as a starting point. And we can swing a little bit wider down here. Um, you know what? Let's just get rid of a few of these points. And maybe do something like that. I know it's a pretty sharp corner, but I think that might bring us back in a little bit better. So rather than uh, mess with the course and try and fix that, I'm realizing I've got a bunch of digestate in this trailer here. So what I can do just to make sure I don't interfere with our auto drive automatically renewing our course play course and all that good stuff, I can just back this right up here and refill it manually like we've been doing. I think. There it is. Auto drive doesn't care how it gets filled, it just cares that it's filled. And off he goes. All right, so that's uh, one thing to work on. Honestly, once we uh, delete this, we could probably delete the auto drive courses that are running through this uh, right now uh, just to make sure that he takes a better path to go through here. I'm kind of tempted to do that, but we'll leave it here. We'll see if we fixed it or not. Uh, on his return trip, although I don't think he's going to need to make another trip back up here. That field he's working on isn't that big. And I think I forgot to do the same thing on the other worker up here, too. I did. Would you look at that? So let's go ahead and enable course play on here. And then we will start him off and let him figure this out as well. We're still doing great over here. Uh, these 
end of the field doesn't require a whole lot of nitrogen, so this is giving me hope that we might actually make it to the end here. Since we're at 75%, we're already on up-down uh, rows. So what I think we'll do, we'll grab the truck here, and I'll just load up that little bit of fertilizer that we've got left in front of the barn. It's not much, but I'd uh, like to get rid of it. And then if we still need some more, we can buy one more crate and haul it out there. I think that's going to be easier than running the nurse trailer all the way up to town. This has got 78 gallons in it still, um, which is not bad. Whoops. Perfect. So that is field seven, I think. And we'll go ahead and just get this guy out the gate since that's a one-way auto drive course and this should work out perfectly. Now this driver should have no problems uh, pulling through here so let's watch and see how this works out. I'm assuming he's gonna just pull right through and get some digesting. There it goes already filling up looks great. So as long as we come at this from uh, this entrance down here everything kind of uh, works out good for us. I like it. Uh, I still need to figure out how to get rid of the digestate in here. I guess I could always just send this guy up to town and sell it uh, because I think we are to a point now where we should be able to keep up with our spreading demands on this new BGA. If we look here, we're, yeah, we're emptying out of it. We've already got 25,000 gallons in here and we're going to be good to go. Um, we're almost done here, almost ready to get rid of that other one. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab this semi. We might as well top it off from what's in the other BGA here. I know that this is auto selling, but I think we get a little bit better if we sell it ourselves uh, directly at the store. So we're going to do that real quick and just take what's in there. And while we let that guy uh, fill up, we'll take a look here this is stop so let me start the driver up here to make sure we're keeping our slurry topped off and keeping our barns emptied our driver's already back out in the field with the other tank that's looking good i'm loving the automation and here we go out in the field now this point is actually out in the field this is one of those things that we didn't think about so we wrecked a little bit of crops there Maybe what we'll do is just adjust that so that doesn't happen again in the future. Pull this right on over to here. Should be good. And I'm just going to bring this guy up a little bit out of the way. I don't know that I'm going to need to bring anything else out to this field, but you never know. Always pays to keep your vehicles out of the way. And here we are. Like I uh, suspected, we're not going to need to... Uh, do another refill on this field because we're on the last headland pass already. I love these slurry spreaders. They work great. Um, one of the one of the best uh, mod combos we've had on the farm for sure. Looks like we'll be done with this in no time and I don't have any other fields that need to have a slurry spread on them right now. So we'll be able to park uh, both of these pieces of equipment here shortly and not need them again until we cut grass the next time we've got about a half hour left of spreading in this big field out here we're already working our way back across the field so this is going to go pretty quick actually all things considered we'll be able to keep going on this while we move the time forward there's no reason to wait on this job um, really the only job we're waiting on is the sprayer over here in the barley field if we jump over here and check in on that driver, we're at 60% left in the tank, and uh, actually we're making great progress on this field. Uh, this map is so big it's hard to see. Let's pop open the menu. Oh, we're almost on the last uh, pass here. So this field didn't use nearly as much nitrogen as I was originally worried about. It's really just this back corner that needed a lot. The rest of the field was in pretty good shape. So this will uh, put us in a good spot, especially after we harvest, uh, everything will be more uniform. And uh, I think the uh, 
digestate getting spread out here after we're done harvesting is going to help out a lot. Now, my thought process for this big field here is next, after we're done harvesting the barley here, I think I'm going to plow uh, this line between the grass field and this barley field together, and we're going to uh, make this one giant field over here, uh, and we'll probably put grass in it, for the time being and just run one big grass field instead of all these little fields. Uh, I think that's going to be more efficient for us and it's a big enough connector between these two fields that I don't think we're going to get a really weird uh, course play course on it or anything. And then uh, maybe we can rotate corn and grass in between this field and the other fields at some point. But for the time being, I think it makes sense to just have one big grass field and then that'll leave these smaller fields around the farm. Uh, we can put some cash crops in there, something that we can run manually uh, without having to try and rely on automation in these tiny fields. Uh, it's something I should have done a while ago. I don't know why I was so resistant to uh, um, to put grass in these big fields and make our lives easier. Um, we've been, I guess, just so focused on uh, running things the way we were because things were technically working, but now we want to really... Uh, optimize our farm setups as we've gotten bigger here and keep things moving now this uh this sprayer looks like the booms are a little bit messed up again that happens on this one if i recall i need to get on a level plot of ground uh, in order to fix this so we're gonna pull it out here uh on the road i think and see if uh nobody's coming because traffic's turned off i can stop somewhere here and we're going to unfold all the way and fold it back up and we should get a nice clean fold on the sprayer i feel like that's worse <laughs> all right well uh whatever we'll make do hopefully we don't run into anything on the way back up to the farm here we go uh hopefully i fit through the door with these booms spread out like this Shouldn't be a problem, but you know, everything's harder when your equipment is uh, misbehaving. Awesome. And we've still got liquid fertilizer in the tanks. Um, I'm going to leave that in there for now. I'm not sure if we're going to need to use this to spread anything. Uh, I can always save it for the planters. Not necessarily realistically, but until Farm Sim implements something that uh, makes commodities and such expire, I'm not going to be too worried about it. And that reminds me, we were filling up this digestate here. Uh, it looks like it stopped for some reason. I wonder if we're just picking up what has been created while we were doing these other jobs, most likely. Might as well finish topping things off. We do have the time running at 15x here because, uh, well, really, we don't have anything else we're waiting on. We've got two of the slurry spreaders going, but that's it right now. Let's go ahead and jump over here. We're all done spreading on this field, so I'm going to kill off that course play course. And we might as well send this guy back up here to top his digestate off. We're getting closer to done here on this. We've still got about 27 minutes. Most of that's going to be headlands. Uh, I'm tempted to try and bring the other spreader out here and have them... Uh, overlap like start him off on the headlands somewhere but that might be kind of a pain to actually make happen so we'll just let this guy go while we start moving time forward in a minute all our other jobs seem to be done and here comes oops that 9rx once again going uh down this other way uh, let me just take over for a minute for you sir and we're going to get you around this semi because I don't really want to move him while he's refilling. And what we're going to do is just start you right back off over here because I am curious to see if our updates to this course have solved our refill problems. If they have, great. If they haven't, I think I'm just going to delete this part of the auto drive course for now because it seems unnecessary. Let's see how this goes. It's a little bit of a wider swing. We're a little bit closer to the refill point, but man, this trailer, because of the way it turns, is just going to be so far away still. I think that's going to be a big no on refilling again. All right, good to know. What we'll do is just pull it forward and back it in right now. I just want to top it off as long as I'm here. And I'm going to get this 
truck back up to the farmyard because I think we're going to use this truck to uh, redo our auto drive courses on that BGA. With uh, this one all filled up, we don't really have anything that we need it to do. So I'm going to just drive it over here and we're going to park it in this nice wide open area that we created. This should be our new parking area. We'll put it at a slight angle. Hopefully he doesn't jut out too much to get in the way there. Our slurry situation seems to be well underway now. And I'm kind of curious to see if this semi is all filled up now. Not quite, so we're going to just keep uh, trickling it in here while the BGA is uh, running. We've got just a little bit of slurry left. And here's our pickup truck finally. Uh, I'm kind of curious about the courses that we've got set up here and whether or not there's an auto drive direction that will let somebody go from inside the yard uh, to the left down this road or not. Let's see. We do have a left and a right out of the driveway. Perfect. All right, so what we're going to do then is we're going to just get rid of these paths for the time being. They're causing us nothing but trouble. All right, I'm just trying to make sure I don't delete anything that's actually necessary. That one can go, that one can go. All right, so the only way in or out of this is in through this driveway now, and you can either go from the front or the back. It looks good. I'm liking it. All right, I think we've solved all of our problems by doing this. And this is a nice shallow ditch, so if we do end up with a trailer kind of tucking into that, it shouldn't be a big deal. We're going to go ahead and park this over at the farm again. Right over here, out of the way. We are going to need to go get some herbicide at some point, though, to spray our fields. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this nurse trailer up right now. And all that good. I don't know which fields are going to need to be sprayed just yet, so we got to take a little bit of a look at that and figure that out as we move the time forward. I think I need to move the clock forward at least one uh, month into uh, May before we can start doing that spraying. So if we look here at the soil composition map, I don't see that we've got any spraying to do. It looks like one of my planter tractors still has a course play course set up as does the sprayer so I'm going to need to go empty both of those out here real quick just to keep the map all cleaned up. Offender number one and offender number two. There we go looking good. So with that I don't see any reason why I can't turn the speed up a little bit here and we'll start moving through the night. We need to get into May before we're going to have our next jobs to do. It looks like the BGA is finally empty. So we're going to take the semi here and send him into town uh, to sell off this load of digestate. Let's take a quick look. Where is going to be the best place to sell this? Uh, right here. Looks like they're all the same price so I think I've got a Rudy's sell point in here Rudy's feed store I do and I do need to get out onto the main road now to take care of uh, the auto drive since I got rid of the path in here not that we're facing the right way for the path that we had we go like so off you go sir my check every time we move forward in time to make sure that the animal situation is good. Looks like our feed situation's uh, in a positive spot. We just need to worry about some slurry for uh, the barn C, which we'll have to run manually. That's the one that I can't get done automatically. Uh, I probably could now, though, if we take a look at the auto drive course next time I come through here. Looks like we've just emptied, so I'm going to go ahead and steal this. And I'll see what I can do to bring this guy around to a successful fill point for farm slurry C. So if we're right up here, and then I start recording, we would come really wide up to the top. 
And then I'd want to come right down into here. Yep, that's going to be far enough to get the slurry. And then I'm going to put my waypoint right around here. We'll do farm. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. Farm slurry C. I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to back up a little bit here. Oh, we're not actually getting a fill. There we go. I think that'll work. And then I can have this guy try and like come back over here and then around. Ugh. It's going to be a tight turn coming at this from this side with the big semi-trailer is what I'm worried about. Maybe if we widen this whole path out a little bit here. This path has been working good for us for so long I'm hesitant to mess with it, but we'll see how this goes. Either way, it's got a long time to sit here and refill, so we'll check back in on this in a minute. Uh, we're into May now, though. I did not intend to keep the time running at 500 while we uh, were setting up that course, so now I've got two courses that are or two days that have passed that I was not expecting. I'm going to move it forward until we get into the daylight here. And then we're going to check on everything. Make sure that we didn't do anything crazy. Run through uh, anything on the farm. Animals are still fed. That's the most important part. And if we take a look at the map here, it looks like field 21 is going to need to get sprayed. And then looking at our other fields, it looks like field 48 needs to be plowed, but it doesn't say it has any weeds, at least not at this point in time. Uh, I don't know if it's still updating though. This is a big map. So we'll check back in at some point, but I do need to get some herbicide going on field 21 here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I've got one container here, only 98 gallons though, oops. So let me see if I can move this container. Oh, what am I hitting? Lights? We're going to set this container out there. I'm going to dump those containers out. Looks like they went right outside the garage there, there, unfortunately. And we're going to go ahead and just grab what herbicide we have here. It's not much. 8%. So I do think that we're going to need to have one additional pallet of herbicide delivered. We don't use a lot of it is the good news uh, when we're spot spraying, but I think we're going to need at least one more. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that uh, rather than going up to the bulk fill point right now, because if we needed more, I would uh, look at buying more. But since we only need one and the co-op's dropping all of my stuff off right in front of the harvester here, I forgot. We're going to just, uh, we're just going to grab the one and see if this gets us through. I think it's going to work. Oh yeah, this is a lot of herbicide in one of these containers. So let's go ahead and run this guy out there. That was field 21. Yes, field 21. There we go. We'll see if these uh, wide booms cause any problems with auto drive. And then up here at Rudy's, it's time to sell some digestate. Boom, there we go. This is going to take a minute. It's a lot to unload. Although I think when I sell the digestate, we get the bonus from precision farming for like when we sell crops and stuff. I don't know for sure. We're going to find out though. It's a nice little amount of money. Not a lot, but enough to notice. Yeah, we do. We get the environmental score reward for selling our digestate. That's kind of cool. Makes it worth it. That's uh, almost 30 grand uh, total sold for one load here. I'm going to go ahead and just get this guy back out on the road and heading up to the farm. And we're all full up here, so let's go ahead and see how this is going to work out. I just want to see if he can make this corner or not, or if he's even going to try. No, he's going to just jump across to the... Uh, other path and then try and turn left immediately. That's not going to work. Or is it? Oh my, it actually worked. Well, okay then. No complaints, I guess. He is going to take this unfortunate path. I need to remember to use the like secondary path where you only go down this route if you're going to a point that's on this route so that we don't get all hung up and waiting back here for things. 
Um, but yeah, I'm too lazy to do that, I think, on uh, these courses because then I'd have to re-record all these courses or maybe there's a way to change them. Yeah, toggle point as side road, left shift. So if I did a left shift on each of these. Oh, oh, he's going too fast. I didn't get them all done. We'll come back in a second. I want to see how uh, well we do coming into this from that side. Looks good. It's just eking past the front of that building. Okay. Well, let's go grab us another vehicle. We can edit that all up. Turns out I'm not going to need this nurse trailer after all. And let's do this. Left shift all the way up to here. And I guess, I don't know that this is necessary, but I'm just going to do the same around the curve here. Um, I want to leave this path open for people to go through because this is a main way into our farm. But uh, the area right going into the harvest store over there doesn't make sense to me. And then, oops, this path through the barn is definitely a side road, so we shouldn't be trying to do this unless you're going somewhere through this path. It's so hard to modify some of these auto drive things from inside buildings and stuff, though. I think that's good enough. I guess for completeness, I should do that. Since this didn't seem to matter as much as I'd hoped, I'm going to pull that over there a little bit. We'll see how it does with some of these minor tweaks like that. All right, looking good. I think we're all set on that. If he's stuck later, we'll check back in. And this guy's coming back up from town and managed to get stuck. I didn't think that's been a problem for us recently. He's like just barely stuck. Uh, stop, stop, stop. I want to try and fix it. We're in fix it mode. We might as well fix it, right, folks? I'm zoomed out as far as I can, and we're not quite able to see the points that I wanted to see. I turn around. That all looks pretty good. I think just the slightest nudge on that should help us out. Um, what I'll do is bring these over into the middle a little bit better. Oops, oops. There we go, that looks pretty good. Well, now that I've got a second tanker, I should be able to do a better job of keeping the slurry pits empty. Um, I think because I've got a minute while the other one's filling up, I can sneak around here. There we go. We'll get him filling up over here and this is going to be unloading at the slurry. Boom, boom, boom. We'll target him here. Uh, actually, we want to pull out of the next tank. This is one of those things where the fill points are so close to each other that I could never get it working to fill out of the second tank up here. Although I could probably bring this all the way up here and try and create a point. Farm. Slurry B. We'll try it again. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Either way, it'll give me a chance to do this where I can move him up there and then push the button. Oh, he's not doing anything. Am I too far away? All right, farm slurry B. There we go. Now we're filling. Looks good. And slurry C is empty already. We've got summon A and summon B. Well, we might as well send this guy on his way, see if his thing works. We'll put this guy on A and we'll call it a day. I did not mean for those things to run. Bonus. He's a little slow going around this new curve, but he seems to be doing it without any hiccups I say as we get really close to that milk tank but it looks good all right I think we're all right here and we should be avoiding yeah we avoided the side path look at that times are good all right I think we're all golden on these uh refill courses with the slurry tankers finally I like it did I leave the pickup running I did um yeah that works 
Go for it. So with all those shenanigans out of the way, we're going to come out here and actually do some spraying. I need to get the herbicide going on this field. So we're just going to uh, get right on out here and see how it goes. Hopefully we're going to be good with the 56% herbicide we've got in the tank. Another nice corn field growing here. The wonders of the spot spraying mechanics is we don't use very much of this at all. We're going at 0.1 gallons an acre, which is not really a uh, big deal. Uh, it might jump up a little bit here and there when we uh, run over some of these thicker spots like that. We're up to 0.3. Yeah, we're going to be fine, folks. Uh, we're going to knock this field out in just a few minutes, I'm sure but it does look like we've got some rain coming, so I'm hoping we can finish this before the rain shows up. Either way, we are making great progress here on the farm as far as uh, what we need to get done for the year. Uh, honestly, this is our last uh, spring-related job. I think uh, we'll be able to move into the summertime uh, uh, grass cutting here as we wrap this job up, I think. This is the last thing keeping us from moving the clock forward. If I open up the big map one more time, just to make sure now that it's had time to load, we've got no weeds in any of our other fields, probably because we did tillage on uh, most of these fields. So it's uh, always nice to have a few less of the filler jobs to do. Uh, we're in a great spot. We're also at $6.675 million in the bank. Uh, definitely enough money for us to get started on uh, another farm when we move things forward here. I'm thinking about donating about $5 million of that to starting off a new series. Uh, since I am planning to keep this one going for a bit, we still haven't met our uh, series goal of getting all the cows uh, producing milk in all three of our barns. We're almost there. We'll get there before the end of this year. But uh, yeah, we might donate some money to starting off another series on a new map. Either way, I think I'm going to go ahead and finish spraying off this field. Uh, won't take but a few minutes. How many minutes is this going to take? 12 minutes? Won't take but 12 minutes for us to ramp up this spray job. And I think our slurry spreader is pretty much uh, getting done here soon, too. I can see it in the distance over there, uh, right there uh, where my mouse pointer is. He's getting off of the road, getting back into the field, and it looked like he was already on the headland passes. Uh, so that job should finish up right around the same time that this job does. And we'll be ready to move that clock forward. Our barley is going to get done at some point here. If we're in May already, uh, June is the earliest. It could be ready to harvest. So I think we were hoping it gets done in June uh, so that we can get some soybeans planted over there was my original plan. Um, I don't know if I'm going to double crop into soybeans or if we're going to plow that strip together and just get the grass going out there. Uh, right away uh, so that we can start bringing in more grass. We are officially out of hay now on the farm, which is the one thing that we do have to keep an eye on. Uh, where, where are we at here? Uh, we're not making any more TMR. I guess we've got just a little bit of hay left, but we do need to cut that grass field with some hay uh, to be able to uh, get hay bales. We also need to get some more uh, silage going. That haylage has really been working out for us. So those two things together we're going to have to figure out. Um, I've got a little bit of grass in there though. I guess we forgot to keep the haylage moving. We put another bale in. That'll get us just a little bit more of this TMR but not enough to really worry about. And uh, I think we're in a great spot. I'm excited. Uh, we don't have any crops in the bins that need to be sold this summer, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just take a quick look here. Not really. We've got, it says we've got 9,000 liters of hay somewhere. I'm not sure where that's at. Oh, that's probably in the bin, uh, the harvest store. So yeah, we're in a good spot. Nothing to sell, nothing else to do except uh, mow some grass, maybe... Uh, make some haylage and keep moving on until we're ready to harvest here. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you have, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. And we'll see you in June next episode.